going to start making it if they haven't already. We, Is need that your... plan. we need to plan the trip. That's what ski trip? Yeah. Morning show yes. ski trip. We should do that it. would be fun. You don't have I'm to not tell driving. me twice. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> there's did you get, get car sick the last time? Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Yes, I get car sick in the mountains. I'll drive. Yeah. I'll drive. <laughs> All right, 644 on a serious yes. note here this morning. Uh, not as cold up in the mountains as it is, uh, or it's not as cold here in the Duke City as it is up in the mountains. There yes, we go. Yes, you got it right, Matt. That's exactly right. Here in Albuquerque, it is chilly, though. Uh, some of the colder numbers, 45 degrees right now. Winds north-northeast at around 3 miles an hour. It was very windy yesterday, uh, and that brought in the cold air. Winds are going down today, but we are going to feel the impacts with the drop in temperatures. We are looking at 30s in Santa Fe and Grants where it's 38, 39 degrees. Some 20s, Alamosa, Taos, even Gallup with the upper 20s there. It is definitely a chilly start to the day. Uh, temperatures in comparison to yesterday, some spots down 10 to 15 degrees. And in some locations, Las Vegas, Gallup over 15 degrees colder this morning, closer to 20 degrees colder uh, with those temperatures really knocked down. Now up in the northern mountains as we get you uh, right in the lower Chama River Valley, we do have that freeze warning in place this morning as temperatures are very chilly with the 20s and even 30s. Winds though, we mentioned how they are on the calm side and you can see statewide about 5 to 10 miles an hour. The exception are far eastern plains. Raton, Clayton winds over 20 miles an hour, up to about 25 in Clayton, 20 in Clovis, and 14 degree or 14 miles an hour, I should say, in Hobbs. We did have a wind advisory for much of this morning that has now expired, but do keep in mind any of the windier skies are going to be up to the north and east and east, and that's definitely making it feel colder. Raton feels as though it's 19, feels as though it's 13 in Clayton, and look at this wind chill in the teens in Alamosa and in Taos this morning. So definitely you are going to want to grab that jacket today because it is a colder start to the day, breezy to the north and east through the afternoon, lots of sunshine and cool temperatures. But that's just going to be for now because by tomorrow we are going to see some of the warmer skies moving in. But satellite and radar showing very clear conditions. We had some showers overnight. Those are now moving off to our far east, Texas, Oklahoma, parts of Arkansas and Louisiana. Expected to see some pretty strong weather today. But by tomorrow we'll have plenty of sunshine again, dry skies and the temperatures starting to rebound. We'll continue to see the warmth return by the middle of this week as we hold on to the sunny uh, skies and that's going to last Wednesday through really this weekend. But for today, lots of sunshine and cool 58 degrees, mostly sunny at noon, sunny and cool at five o'clock. We'll be at around 64 degrees and uh, really north of about I-40 is where we have those highs in the 50s today. Taos up to 56, Santa Fe, the capital city, only to 55 degrees. Socorro will climb to 69 in Rudoso, 60 61 with just a little bit of 70 activity uh, down into our far south and west. So as we take you through the seven day forecast, so what to expect? Sunny and cold skies today. Durango 58 degrees, 56 degrees in Pagosa Springs, but we will have 70s back in the forecast by Wednesday. Into the north and west, lots of sunshine, nearly widespread 60s, but Dulce and Cuba will have highs in the 50s by tomorrow. We climb about five degrees, then we add almost another five to ten by Wednesday. We'll have highs in the mid 70s into the south and west. Lots of sunshine today. 60 in Camado, 71 in Glenwood and 74 degrees in Lordsburg and Lordsburg. You'll be the front runner today with those mid 70s. We'll add a few more degrees by the rest of this week. By Wednesday, up about 10 will be into the 80s in the south and east. Lots of sunshine today. 50s in Cloudcroft, but 60s elsewhere. 65 in Fort Sumner, 67 in Lovington and 68 degrees in Artesia. We'll have daytime highs in the 80s by Wednesday, mid 80s by Thursday. In the Northeast, lots of sunshine and cool today with the 50s and 60s. Roy and Springer all the way to 60 degrees. Tucumcari will get to 67. Las Vegas, though, 58 degrees tomorrow. Add about 10 degrees onto this number, and then by Wednesday, we add another 10. We'll have highs in the upper 70s. In the northern mountains, plenty of sunshine with nearly widespread 50s. Chama up to 55, Los Alamos up to 57, and Santa Fe today, 55 degrees, but mid and upper 60s for the remainder of the week with more sunshine. In the east mountains, sunny and cool, 65 in Cedar Crest, 63 in Harris and Edgewood, 62 with lots of sunshine, upper 60s tomorrow and mid 70s by Wednesday. Then into the metro area, not as windy, definitely dealing with ample sunshine, cool numbers, 65 in the South Valley, 66 degrees in Los Lunas and 68 degrees in the west side. And even look at our overnight temperatures. Some spots in the 30s, Rio Rancho tonight down to 38, the west side down to 37. 
the South Valley down to 35. And look at Berlin, just above freezing Ooh. tomorrow morning with a low of about 33 degrees. In the heights, we'll get to about 41. So it's going to be a chilly overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Then tomorrow afternoon, more sunshine, mild temperatures. We'll be back into the 70s and we'll slowly start to see those numbers rebound, not only in the afternoon with the mid 70s, but in the mornings as well. We'll go from the 30s and 40s back to the 50s by the middle of this week. I do think it is a, a glove morning tomorrow. Gloves and scarves. I know. I'm, I'm excited to see what you know. What kind of winter wear you bring in tomorrow? Because oh, Matt gives us such a hard time. He's like, you brought the jacket. No, you honestly, turn on the heater. Um, but you know what? You do. You have a quite a, quite a lot. Uh, yeah, quite a big wardrobe. It's too early. In, to too early in the year, though. I probably won't. Uh, I won't get out the jacket. Mother for Nature month. disagrees. All right. We'll see if I wear a jacket tomorrow. But. Yeah,